you sort of training once a day, twice a day in collaboration with the club on your own? Yeah, I'm doing some of the, the, the club's workout and then I'm doing something myself on the side. So during the day, it's usually like two, three workouts a day. I feel when I, when I start training, it, it has to be really intense and I have to be 100% focused. And of course, it's really difficult when you're at home with the kids around. I saw that the first couple of days, like you need to have a tight schedule. Like to say, okay, I'm training at this time and I'm doing it like this because if you just wake up and go by the day, the day will suddenly just have, have gone away and uh, and you'll end up like 10 o'clock have, have, have to do a workout or something because when you have kids, there's always something to do. So I feel that it has helped me a lot to just made it, make a schedule for me. I know what time I'm training, eating my breakfast every day. So it makes it easier. What Barca have missed a lot this season is that pace in behind. Um, and when you have a passer like Messi, I guess it's easy for you just to make the runs and know, know like you say, the balls are going to come if you keep making those runs. Of course, that's that's the thing. And especially with Barcelona, you have Messi, he can do everything. He can do everything. And the team is going to focus a lot about him. Um, so I just have to play my game. And my, my game is naturally running in behind. And I think it's not fun for other teams. You know, you have to look at Messi, but you have someone running in behind. So... It leaves the defenders, they have to make a choice. Either they follow Messi or they follow me and someone is going to get the space. You cannot play 90 minutes without giving us space. So that's the thing. The only problem is if everyone is just coming, coming trying to receive the ball in the feet and no one is running behind. So they will make it easy for the defenders. So luckily, that's my game. That's what I'm good at, to run behind. I can also come and get the ball, but I don't need it in the team because we have so many good players. So... I'm just going to stay focused running behind, making it really difficult for the defense and and make him, and put them in a decision where they have to make a choice. They have to make a choice if if they leave a space behind them or they leave a space in front of them. And the thing is, we just have to take advantage of that when we play. And we have so good players that I'm sure we're going to do that. And how was that week when you signed, signed for Barcelona with Leganes and stuff? Because obviously it was a strange, it was an exceptional signing because it doesn't happen very often that the circumstances allow for player to be signed outside the transfer window but Leganes in, in public at least you know they were very respectful very professional they seemed very accepting I mean was that the case with you once you transmitted to them your desire to leave? Honestly Leganes is an amazing club the people who are working at the club the best people it's really I cannot speak highly enough of that club it was really special for me and the way they the way they treated me when I had to leave because sometimes you know when you're leaving a club you can live you can leave a club with mixed feelings but they, they they totally understood me and they said, like, this is a chance, one chance in a lifetime, so you have to take it. They would have done the same, so they truly understand me. Of course, they felt like, they felt it was not fair that they couldn't go out and get a replacement, which I understand. But in the end of the day, they were really, really nice to me. And obviously, he, Javier Aguirre hadn't been the, the manager for long, but what was your experience like working with him for that, that brief time that you were with him as a coach? Really good. He's like the player's man. You can really go and talk to him. He just told me, go and enjoy. He said, honestly, you have to go. It's your career. This is a big opportunity. Of course, you have to take it and just go and, and kill it and enjoy it. Now you're at Barcelona. Now you've shown that you can achieve what you've set out to achieve. There must be so much more that you're targeting in the future now. Exactly. Now I'm at the biggest stage and now it's about winning titles. So this is my aim. For everything that's possible to win, everything, I want to win everything. And for me, like I'm at a, I'm in Barcelona, I'm looking at all these legendary players who has played here, and all the periods where they had some of the best teams. And for me, one of the goals is like to to be able to say, you know, I played in one of the best uh, Barca team in the in the generations. So I want people to be able to look back at the team I played in and, and say, like, yeah, it was one of the best teams that have been in, the, in Barca's history. So this is a huge motivation for me, and it comes. A lot of hard work, but I'm willing to put in the work and I'm just excited. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.